I really, right now, I don't have any plans for the money. I, you know, we, we haven't received any money yet, so I haven't, you know, I tried to not put myself thinking about what I'm going to want with something that I don't have yet. Yeah. And let me make it very clear for those of you who don't understand the process and the system. These funds are totally controlled by the court. She is a minor. We will be applying to the court when they tell us the funds are available. The court will control the funds. The court will make decisions as to how these funds are to be handled, how they could be expended, so that uh, it is not a decision solely of the family, but it will be a decision of the court so that all of us will work together with the federal judge to see that the, uh, this young lady is protected and see that the funds are allocated in an appropriate manner. So this is not a, a family decision. This is really a decision that will be submitted and must be approved by the federal judge. Really from day one, I was able to forgive because it was, it was truly an accident. Um, I mean, you know, I, I never, I felt sad. I know that the person has a family. I don't know, I don't even remember his name, but I know, I remember hearing that he had children and, and young children. So I felt horrible and put myself in, in his spot, you know, imagining if, if that were me, if I had run a red light <clears throat> and injured someone. You know, I mean, it hurt my feelings, but more importantly, I just wanted to focus on taking care of my daughter. I was, I'm not looking really for an apology. I just want to be able to take care of her needs. Are you angry with the government? Sometimes, and sometimes not. What, what, what was your reaction when you heard of, uh, that uh, the judge had made an award on your behalf? And, uh, and did you give any thought to what you might like to do? I would like to buy a house with my mother, large house with with a bunch of acres, so we could possibly have a ranch with horses. Now you mentioned horses. Was horses something you really loved to do before that accident? Uh, did you have a particular affection for horses and exposure to horses before May 12th of 2002? Um, yeah, and I still do have a strong with horses. I love horses.